So I like using some light, <coughs> sorry, light um, greenish, yellowish colors for my foam. And I think that we can go with the same color here for those um, maybe slightly darker areas just to give it some color. And then we can go also into some um, this one. This is a gray blue, grayish kind of um, green. We can use it for the foam as well, but for the foam in the shadows. Now we need something for the light bits and I will be using, I think, so this depends entirely on your preference because you can use your artistic license here and depending on what you see in your reference. So let's see, maybe something yellowish. Um, this one's going to be too yellow. Yeah, these are too yellow. So I'm going to go into something grayed out. <laughs> so let's try this. Yeah, I like this color. Very nice. And it's it has this yellow green um, quality to it, but it's at the same time, it's very um, alive. It's not just flat white. And let's see. This is too dark already. Okay, let's go into something like so. So this is not white. This has color to it also, some yellowish color to it. And then we need also that shadow color for the areas where we have that foam shadow. So we're going to be adding that a bit still. So I'm going to use my dark, um, darkish, not very dark, but um, bluish gray. So let's see, let's see this color. So this could work well. And I have that other bluish gray that I like. Um, This is too intense, but we can keep it. I'm just looking. Yesterday I resorted my pastels, so I'm kind of a bit lost with where I put everything, but <laughs> I'm getting there. So anyway, this is still drying. And da, 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 there we go. This is my one of my favorite blue grays, but there is another one that I have a slightly, there it is. This one's the one that I was looking for. So, now that it's going to dry completely, I think that here it's already, yeah, it's dry, so we can fix that um, horizon line. Like so, I'm not even going to blend this in. This kind of um, suggests that fogginess, kind of um, cloudiness. Then, this is the same blue that I used for the background blue. So I'm just going to add a bit of that. And you can see how lively now it looks, how many interesting little details we have in that background of the sea. And here I'm adding this gray over the top just a bit, very gently, very, very lightly. So notice that when we get here, it's going to become lighter. So we're going to add that now there. And now I'm going to add this um, grayish blue also here, but also don't add it in one kind of definite line and that's it. I really like when you show the texture of the paper, it really plays well here. So in some places it can get thicker, like more dense, the pastel layer, but overall, the, when the paper shows through, it looks very, very interesting. And okay, and here we have that foam shape in there. Okay, so this is one thing, and I'm gonna add a bit of those, um, this, green that we used also. Just a bit of this green in a couple of places. Just a bit. We don't have to exaggerate with it. Just to give that greenish shimmer. This yellowish bit, like a yellowish um, kind of ochre color. And I'm going to add those marks inside the wave here as I like 
how it kind of um, shines. The same I go here. Always using the fast towel on the side. And moving it in the direction of this crest of the wave. Kind of the way that it actually um, kind of folds, <laughs> curves on its own. So I'm just gonna gently rub this in. Look at that texture, it's amazing, isn't it? So, also here. Not going too much into those darks, but kind of creating that gradual transition. Like so. Okay, so now I'm going to add this sweet color. Nope. Something slightly darker, just a bit to add more texture here on this crest of the wave so it doesn't look so boring. We can even take a darker green. Um, mm -hmm. So let's see, a darker green. Something grayed out. Mm. Oh, this is too yellow green. Okay, let's leave this um, for now just a bit because I can't find the color that I'm actually looking for. But we can start adding those um, lights and intensifying those darks. So I'm going to use my, this is a dark green, so I'm going to use this to create kind of uh, an appearance of kind of more texture inside the wave here. And also I'm going to darken up slightly this green. We can work on that. So I'm darkening up slightly this uh, part of the wave. Like so. And here what I'm looking at, this is too um, warm. So I'm going to cool it off slightly with this cooler green. And the same thing goes here. Pulling it off with the blue just a bit. Okay, and I'm gonna take this um, very dark green, just to intensify that difference between the light and the shadow. Here it's the darkest, and that's also some texture to our wave. Next, what we do is we're going to add those lights. So this is where the fun part begins. <clears throat> so I'm going to be using this. Um, let's see, where is it? So it's, this is not the, this one, yes. So this greenish color, I'm going to add it in those areas where I see the kind of transition from shadow into light in the wave. And here, we're moving the chalk slightly, like turning it so we can show that turn of the wave. Okay, so this is the area of the shadowier parts. And now with the same color, actually I'm gonna take an even lighter one. I'm going to start adding those brighter bits. This is almost a yellow, it's kind of a yellowish green. And I'm adding it here where the lighter bits are. So it's not boring white. And here where there's that foam, 
over here. It's going to be also um, lighter. And then with the same color that we have here, I'm going to start adding that foam. So this is the foam that I see and leaving some of those areas. for the water to actually shine through the foam, like so. And here we have those kind of um, uh, little tiny waves hitting the shore. Okay, and now I'm taking this lighter pastel. And here I see that I don't have this difference between the wave, so I need to make it more prominent here. So I'm constantly looking at all of my drawing, not only at one part of it. And now we're adding those lighter bits. Actually, let's do one thing. Let's add those um, lights in here. So this color of the foam pattern inside the wave is very similar to the color of the wave like in the shadow. So with quite a hard pressure, I'm going to create those wave patterns. You don't have to follow exactly how you see it in the reference photo, but So, and also here, I really love drawing sea foam, so it's kind of a passion of mine. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna add this lighter color here over this at this on the sea, just to kind of make that wave pop. To create more contrast, like so. Okay, and now with this lighter color, what we're doing is here, sorry that I'm going back and forth, I want to add that glow. So inside here, there is a bit of that glow of the sun actually shining through the wave, which looks really nice. Okay, so now what I want to do is start adding those lights. So these are definite lights. That we have on our wave. And again, I'm moving in the direction of the spray. This is a very soft pastel. So, once again, I'm saying this is not completely white. This is an off white. And here we need a bit of that darker blue just to bring back those shadows if we lost them. Just blending in a bit of this foam. Like 
Okay. And let's add these foam bits over here as well. So we have some of that water showing, but mostly it's the foam over here. Like so. Gone in too much, so I need my violet here a bit to correct this. Bit of that violet and also that dusty pink that we did, that we picked up previously. Like so. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, add that shadow here. This part has a bit of a shadow and then a darker. Actually, we can use a charcoal to darken it up. So this is just a compressed charcoal. And I'm adding those, the shadows with the compressed charcoal. Also here, there might be some shadows. Over here. Okay, and here I want to create that edge that kind of comes later and move it slightly upwards to create that spray. Okay, and here it's a bit too bright for my liking. I think I'm going to take something um, just slightly grayer or bluer. Yeah, that might do. Just pass over it lightly to kind of show that it's reflecting the sky. And let's add some of those um, darks back in. We lost them. like so and now the favorite part that i have i'm going to take a white so for this i am going to use the white and i'm going to add a bit of those a bit of that spray of the foam just to liven it up a bit just in some places not everywhere so this is a hard soft pastel like a rembrandt i think and I need a sheet of paper or what it is. So I'm gonna put it on and rub it in. And there we go, our colorful little seascape is all ready. So now the most gratifying part is taking out the Tape. I really like doing this. <laughs> There's a lot of dust. I really like taking off the tape. And shaking off the dust. Voila! Our little seascape is all ready. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and I will see you in the future ones. Thank you for watching. Bye.